I'm exhausted, barely breathing. Hey, we did it. All done. Yesterday was my last camera knife treatment. Nailed it. Um, I'm exhausted, but that's mostly because the steroids keep me up at night. And this morning, my youngest daughter, she usually does, woke up at 5.10, came into bed looking for the cat. She wouldn't go back to bed. It was just early morning, long week. I'm just exhausted. So what do I do now? Well, today we're celebrating. We're going to go out for some steaks later with some friends, Cheryl and Chris. I'm excited. Got a nice 20 ounce bone-in ribeye. Uh, some shrimp, some crab legs maybe, some drinks for Cinco de Mayo. It's margarita night, I think. Yeah, we'll do that. And then we're going to see the Avengers. Everyone's talking about it, but I haven't seen it yet, so I'm excited. And then, what's next for me? Well, we got to follow up with my oncologist on Monday to see how the drugs working so I, I presume she will probably order a, a CT scan and check the rest of my body to see what's going on and then as far as side effects from the gamma knife I haven't experienced any yet but they told me uh, usually after a month is when people experience the peak side effects so to keep an eye out for any nausea or sudden muscle loss or motor control uh, hopefully that doesn't happen they said it happens less than three percent of the time but here's hoping it doesn't happen to me because uh, that could indicate swelling in the brain or bleeding in the brain and then if that happens i'd have to go back in a steroid and i don't want to go back in a steroid the steroids are really nasty they they mess with your blood sugar. Uh, they give you like acne in your skin. They have like these bumps and stuff. So I'm tapering off starting Tuesday and then I should be off the steroid completely by May 31st. And then hopefully everything gets better from there. The steroids also cause massive muscle loss. So like lifting your leg, like if you don't move around, you're gonna start losing muscle mass quickly. So that's bad because I just not too long ago got back to walking relatively decently and so I don't want to go back to being hobbling around and moving slowly. I'm moving pretty quickly. I can play with the girls a little bit. The big issue for me, well besides having 47 tumors in my brain, was it was affecting, there's a, there's a tumor on my motor cortex that's affecting my right foot. So most, so most people can move their foot around like this. This is my left foot, you know, it's easy. But my right foot is essentially, I can't move it. I can't wiggle it the way people can move their foot around like this. This is my left foot, you know, it's easy. But my right foot is essentially, I can't move it. I can't wiggle it the way I want to, I can get it up a little bit, but, and if you can't move your foot, you lose a lot of balance, and when you can't balance, it's tough to walk. So I have a foot brace that I wear that keeps my foot from dropping, because there's a bit of a foot drop, and you can trip, and it's, anyway, I'm walking really well now with this foot brace, and, uh, yeah, so. It, it sucks. I really hope that treating that tumor with the gamma knife, if it dissolves the tumor and it goes away, hopefully I regain full motor control of that foot. But the doctor said, maybe. Because with the human brain, it's just unknown. Once you modify it, you never know. It could get better, it could, or it could get worse. Hopefully it gets better. I'm really hoping because I really want to ride my bike again. And the girls like when I pick them up on the bike with the uh, bike trailer. And I really want to do that again. Um, 
So I gotta keep an eye out for my side effects, get some follow-up scans. The diabetes thing I was talking about, it, my blood sugar has been really well. I control it with a drug called Lanthus. Doesn't matter. There's a drug that I use to control it. And then I take shots during the day if my sugar spikes too high. But it hasn't been spiking. Lately it's been really good. Today I think it will be bad because we're going out for dinner. And I'm going to probably drink a lot. Well, not too much. And then after the movies, of of course, I'm going to get the combo with the popcorn and the Skittles and the M&Ms and the giant pop. But I've been drinking Coke Zero and it doesn't taste that bad. I, I, was, I was surprised. So that's really it. Next, I'm going to start, like if I keep feeling well, I'm going to try to start working out again and maybe build back some muscle mass. I'm also going to start programming again. I haven't written code in so long. I love writing code. and I'm, I'm going to make an application for Android uh, to track my glucose because I can't find an app on the Play Store that's any good. So I'm going to write my own and maybe I'll list it in the App Store and other people can use it. So that's really it. Short update. Treatment went well. I tolerated it really well. And now we're done. I'm so happy to be done. Hopefully I never see them again. You know, there's always the possibility of new growths and stuff and I will go back and and see them for maybe more treatment. I don't know, hopefully it doesn't come to that. They it could if I keep it at bay, you know, for a year I'll be happy. You know, the life expectancy of someone with my cancer is after five years is less than twenty percent. So I'm happy hope, uh, about how far I've gone. I'm still here, still kicking, and I plan to keep, to keep doing that. That's the plan. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll see you again. Take care. Don't worry.